Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 10th of February, 2019. Article published on the 8th of February, written by Colin Dwyer, that's D-W-Y-E-R. Published by NPR, Virginia Lieutenant Governor Fairfax asks for FBI investigation after second sexual assault accusation. Is this the same FBI that investigated Sandy Hook? Huh? Is this the same FBI that didn't rope off the Twin Towers of the Pentagon as a crime scene? Huh? Run by Robert Mueller? Is this the same FBI that investigated Hillary Clinton's private server and exonerated her activities? Huh? Is this the same FBI? I mean, I'm just asking. Update. 8.27 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday. Virginia Lieutenant Governor showed no intentions of resigning Saturday, the day after a second woman came forward to accuse him of sexual assault. Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax released a statement Saturday requesting that no one should rush to judgment and called for an FBI investigation so that due process will provide the fairness, justice, and honesty that is necessary. Huh? You're shitting me, right? The FBI is going to investigate this, huh? He said the interactions were consensual with both women. Why would they come out and accuse him of this kind of activity, since I've got to believe they're both whacked out Democrats? Huh? Why would they do this? Well, they wouldn't. Lawyers for Meredith Watson released a statement Friday alleging that Virginia No. 2 politician raped her in 2000 while they were both attending Duke University. Mr. Fairfax's attack was premeditated and aggressive, her lawyer said. The two were friends but never dated or had any romantic relationship. The lawyer said Watson told friends of the alleged rape in emails and Facebook messages she sent in 2016 and 2017. Note that the lawyers included a screenshot with her statement. Watson has requested that Fairfax resign. Through her lawyer, she said she was reluctantly coming forward out of a strong sense of civic duty. Fairfax denied the allegation and said in statements Friday, I will not resign. I deny the slated, unsubstantiated allegation. It is demonstrably false. I have never forced myself on anyone, Fairfax said. Didn't I say that more women would come forward and they have? You think it's only these two women? There'll be additional women coming forward. You know why there's no Kavanaugh-like investigation on all this, including to investigate the sitting governor, Ralph Norton. The reason there's no investigation is because it's the Democrats that would take control or have control of the investigation since they control the House of Representatives. An absolute joke. I mean, take a look at Christine Blasley Ford. What do we find out about her? Well, she worked for the CIA. How much more do you need to know, huh? Fairfax vowed to clear his good name and noted he has passed FBI background checks and run for office, with nothing like this being raised before. Well, why doesn't he agree to a polygraph, huh? And how about those two women? Why don't they agree? Why doesn't Meredith Jensen and Jennifer Weston agree to a polygraph? I bet you they would, and I bet you he won't. Watson is the second woman to come forward with sexual assault allegations against Fairfax in a week. Just days ago, Scripps College professor Vanessa Tyson released her own detailed account of an alleged assault by Fairfax in a Boston hotel room during the 2004 Democratic National Convention, a claim Fairfax also denies. Those denials are not enough for him to keep his job, according to the fellow Democrats in the state legislature. Hmm. Due to the serious nature of these allegations, we believe Lieutenant Governor Fairfax can no longer fulfill his duties to the Commonwealth. How about Ralph Norton? How about him? Democrats in both chambers said in a statement Friday night he needs to address this as a private citizen. 
The time has come for him to step down. The allegations have surfaced in the harsh glare of the national spotlight, which was initially drawn to Virginia by a separate controversy involving Governor Ralph Northam. The governor, also a Democrat, earlier this month admitted to using blackface after the discovery of a racist image on his face page in a decade-old yearbook. If Northam steps down, as many critics have called for him to do, Fairfax would assume the governorship. But now, several nationally prominent Virginians within his own party are calling on Fairfax to resign as well. The allegations against Justin Fairfax are serious and credible. It is clear to me that he can no longer effectively serve the people of Virginia as Lieutenant Governor, former Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe tweeted Friday. After Watson's alleged surface, I call for his immediate resignation. The call was echoed by nearly every member of Virginia's national congressional delegation, including Representative Jennifer Wexton. The latter, a Democrat freshman who won election to national office in 2018, asserted earlier this week that she believed Tyson on Friday. She took the statement a step further. Quote, I believe Dr. Vanessa Tyson. I believe Meredith Watson, she tweeted, and I believe Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax must resign. Weren't we told that we should believe the women? So why don't we believe the women now? Well, it's because they're accusing Democrats of wrongdoings. You might want to remind Trump of the promise that he made to the American people. He'd release the names of all of those that caused that 17 million dollar expenditure to be paid to silence the victims of sexual harassment. We need to know the truth. And these two dirtbags, they need to find something else to do. Like I said, you think that he would subject himself to lie detector tests? Hmm? I don't. And he should. I'm certain that Vanessa Tyson and Meredith Watson would be eager to do so. Why doesn't the mainstream media request that? I'll attach the link, pass it along to your like-minded friends, repost this in all your social media accounts. Thanks for listening.